And you know that more than 70 million people worldwide stutter. That's one in 100 in the United States. That's three million people stutter. And by the way, I'm one of them. Hey, it's a trigger, Rich Bond trigger. It's National Stutter Awareness Week. See, there it was right there. I'm going to be sharing little thoughts and comments and tidbits throughout this week to help you overcome your stutter or love on people that you know that have a stutter to get a better understanding of what stuttering is all about. See, in many cases, stuttering is labeling people. And like me, we got labeled as dumb or stupid or so many different names. And stuttering often goes with bullying. I was bullied as a kid because of my stuttered. And yet, I have made my career as a public speaker, as a broadcaster, and a pastor for almost 30 years in spite of my stutter. And so have many other people. But I was labeled stupid. And I'm anything but stupid. In fact, I'm very creative. I'm an extrovert. And yet, I have learned to overcome my stutter. There's a lot of people that you know, that you admire, that are amazing people that you may not even know that they stutter. For example, James Earl Jones, the voice of Darth Vader, Mufasa from The Lion King, and the voice of CNN. See you then. James Earl Jones stutters. He has battled a lifelong stutter. In fact, until the age of eight, he barely ever spoke except to family members at home. He was virtually a mute up until eight years old. James Earl Jones retells a story very similar to mine. He says stuttering was painful for him. In fact, when he was in Sunday school, he would stand up and read the Bible verses. And he could hear the children laughing and teasing and ridiculing him in his Sunday school class. And it tore him up and made his stutter even more severe. Now, I remember my time in school. I remember standing up in public school and reading books out loud, and I could hear the snickers, I could hear the name calling, and I would run out of the room crying because of my stutter and my inability to speak properly. And then those labels and those nicknames and those teasing came, and they cut and they left wounds for a very long time. You see, I can remember those times, but like James Earl Jones, I learned that I could overcome my stutter by learning different tips and tricks. In fact, James Earl Jones says he's transformed his weakness into his greatest strength. Think about that for a second. He changed and transformed his weakness into his greatest strength by learning tips, tricks, and still going forward and going after his dreams. This week is all about encouraging you. If you're a stutter, I want you to know that you're someone special and that your stutter does not define you or limit you in any way, shape, or form. In fact, you're probably very creative because many stutters, like Julia Roberts, like Bruce Willis, are all creative individuals that have learned to overcome their stutter in a lot of fun, creative ways. So be encouraged this week as we do Stutter Awareness Week. And if you know somebody that stutters, give them some love, give them encouragement, and help them to find their voice. Because they have a voice. They have amazing things to offer our world. And do not let the labels, the teasing, the bullying to affect them the way did James Earl Jones or the way did myself. So this week, watch out for more stutter awareness. And if you want to learn more, if you want to get some insights and help, I'm going to include a little link here to help you reach out to an organization that's doing great work for those that stutter and they do it all year long. Remember, you can turn your weakness into your strength. For Stutter Awareness Week, I'm the trigger, Rich Bond Trigger.